Today, we're going to do a quick video on uh, one of our favorite shade plants, and that's uh, Ligularia, but specifically one they call the rocket. If you're in a, uh, especially if you're in an area where there's a lot of deer, where we, where we are, we have a lot of deer, and uh, if you like large leafed uh, <clears throat> plants that grow in the shade, most of you probably plant hostas, and most of you are probably feeding a lot of deer and having a lot of hostas uh, that are just a lot of stems and you're getting frustrated. Uh, I understand uh, we can't keep hostas. You can spray them with anything you want. At some point, the deer are gonna eat them. So uh, I wanna talk about a plant today that is deer resistant, puts out a lot of blooms, and uh, is great for butterflies and other pollinators. This is Ligularia. Ligularia has great leaves, wide leaves. This particular variety, the rocket, has um, serrated leaves right here. Um, but as you can see, pretty good sized. I have pretty big hands, so uh, these are big, uh, big leaf plants. Grows great in the shade. This is, I guess, what you consider a woodland uh, garden right here off of our patio. Uh, but um, these do not seed. This is a sterile variety, so you have to split them um, if you want to expand them in your garden. Uh, but as you can see, uh, we have a nice cluster of them. They go down the hillside here, and they come all along the path all the way over there. But, um, Besides the nice foliage and the ease in growing, these uh, come up every year. We're zone six here in northern New Jersey. You get outstanding flowers. Now, uh, these are a little late in coming this year, but they showed up. Uh, but as you can see, you get these incredible spikes of yellow flowers. And the bees and the butterflies love them. Uh, of course, today <laughs> there aren't any bees around, but uh, and there's definitely no butterflies this year in uh, northern New Jersey. We got nothing. Okay, here, here we go. I'm not lying. There's a bee. He's gonna tell you that he loves these flowers. So, you know what he hates? what's he hate? When someone sticks a phone in his face. He loves the phone. Look at him. He's not even bothered. See. He, he doesn't even bother. He's like the paparazzi. He doesn't care. You're so annoying. These poor little animals. How am I supposed to make a video about them without showing them? How's that annoying? Okay, I'm a little annoying, but I don't think she's talking about the poor little animals. <laughs> <laughs> right? Maybe not. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> so anyway, um, I lost track. <laughs> oh yeah, we're talking about if you're in an area with deer, uh, they don't touch these. So you can actually plant these out in your front yard, um, and they uh, r really don't eat these plants. Uh, they don't eat the flowers. Um, you'll get the large foliage. Uh, we like to we like it because it's a, a different foliage. You can mix it with other sized foliages, uh, but perfect for uh, a semi-shady area. It's a pretty deep shade. Um, this doesn't get that much sun. Uh, the sun is already, the morning sun is already past, so you can see how well these do. They do tend to need a little bit extra moisture in the perennial bed, if you can have a regular perennial bed, to uh, perform best, and they will wilt in heavy heat, but they do come back. But, um, Another recommendation broken. from us. What? I'm so broken. It's because you mowed the lawn yesterday. Oh, no, it's not. My knees really badly. You know, I'm recording this. What? I'm recording. You're not. 
You think, and you, I bet you think I'm going to edit that out. Yeah, you're not showing me, right? No, I'm not showing you. I don't have my glamour runway on. <laughs> yeah, you're not glamorous today. Puppy, let's call an end to this video. Anyway, do we have a recommendation on the Ligularia rocket? Okay. Anyway, this is Ligularia rocket. Um, great replacement for hostas. It is a great pollinator plant and it is easy to care for and in the fall you can divide it to spread it out like we have uh, so hope you join us next time when uh, we will be oh, i don't know what we'll be doing we're going to take a look at probably laetrus in the front uh, garden because we've got some to move and we're going to show you how easy that is to move laetrus and what a wonderful pollinator and native plant that is until next time